let's come to the questions so another common question that i i have been asked like the comment box is getting full every day so like there are i think 200 uh, plus or 150 plus comments on the previous live so let me cover few of the questions okay so few of the questions that i have been asked the most so few uh, few people have asked like hey santosh can i drop off uh, in between intern so i am not sure on that so since some people have the doubt but you can drop off after the intern so when you complete intern you will get an internship certificate so uh, some people have asked that too so you will get an internship certificate like completion internship certificate okay when you successfully complete the internship okay so you will get that but you can join other companies there is no stopping you you can go to other companies there is no problem at all with cognizant since there is no bond even when you join after you know after maybe an uh, month or so you can definitely join other companies there is no problem uh, you know with cognizant since there is no bond so most companies have bond okay so see to that that if you are trying to, planning to switch earlier when you are planning to switch within a year or so uh you, you are just want to you know get into some company so you can do that since you won't have any problems getting out of the company since most people have you know some people have that attitude so they want to you know move out after joining cognizant or after joining in maybe two or three months okay so that is uh, the first question that i've been asked a lot okay and and coming to the stipend part so the stipend is given uh, you know to uh, when people come around come out of their comfort zone so you are coming out of your home you are coming out of your college environment you are coming to a new place okay so internship might be for few people might be near your homes or if you are from metropolitan cities you have near that but most people won't get the opportunity like they won't come from home or they won't, they cannot come from college okay so for those people they 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 have to spend you know uh, some uh, some amount to Uh, rent the pgs right so that is the only point or one is that is the only cost that uh, cognizant is providing you and stipend okay so so to live by yourself you don't have to so 12k is more than enough to uh, survive for a month so you can eat outside you can enjoy you can get a good pg so 12k is uh, almost you know it is enough for you know starting point when you join as an intern you don't do any learning so sorry you do, you just uh, learn something so you don't have to feel the stress of any project or something you know too intense okay so that is the only point that the cognizant is providing you a stipend okay so you you have to understand that okay so that is the only uh, point that why cognizant offers you uh, 12k uh, you know sum of money for you guys to learn okay so from that point so that is the only case okay so uh, with that said uh, next move let's move on so so another question uh, you know that was popping up you know uh, with people is that when i will be getting the date of joining and the internship so as per you know some colleges have already you know been rolled out with internship offers so you will be you can expect within this month okay most probably this month or you know we when we started with internship okay so we were like on earlier you know december so starting of december but we had batches coming in uh, you know till uh, february i think february or jan okay so you 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 uh, the companies uh, you know roll out things in batches okay so for these particular colleges or for this particular zone uh, this is the priority so th- these guys will come first and these guys will some come on the second batch okay so they have you know their own mechanism to do you know that so you will be rolling they will be rolling out in batches so you don't have to worry about that if you are confident that you have you know done the debugging right so i am not sure about the aptitude i am not aptitude guy so if you are confident about you have been uh, doing some debugging thing then you can uh, you know uh, you will definitely get an offer so you don't have to worry about that okay so that is for uh, date of joining and you will get the uh, you know uh, after joining as an intern so maybe a week or two you will get the offer letter as well so for the first year what will be your pay and for the rest of after one year what will be your pay so those kind of details will be rolling out after 
uh, two to three weeks of joining as an intern so wait for that and you you will get to know all those other uh, details all those salary packages and what will be your uh, take home uh, pay and all those things okay so another thing uh, i would like to share is another question so that that has also been popping around uh, you know for quite a while so we have few questions so we we didn't have this gen c and gen c next or what whatever the you call it as so they have this time they have done something of gen c and gen c next they have increased the packages so there is something that you have to keep in mind so we'll uh, take a few questions from the chat so the internship so g went as asked the question so this internship is only for gen c or both gen c and gen c next i'm not sure which internship you are talking about the internship at cognizant or okay let me so you will have anyway intern so internship is where you create bond with the company okay so where you get to know people where you bond yourself with cognizant okay that is the great time that uh, you can bond yourself with cognizant okay okay moving on always sleepy <laughs> how to get a developer role and cognizant see uh, it depends so again you will be split into domains right so some people will be put into uh, you know .NET or some people will be put into Java and some people will be put into Selenium okay so when uh, those things takes place you can you know opt for another role okay so when you join as an intern you you will be you know put into some domain you will be trained on that and you will be you know allocated projects based on that so one year down the line you can switch so there are lot of opportunities that you can switch you know uh, inside the company okay so you can switch in inside the company like uh, if there is a vacancy in the project okay let's say i want to work on machine learning okay but i i know only uh, i have been trained on dot net and i am currently working on a dot net project so i am i i have uh, you know learned my i have taught myself machine learning and i am good at it okay so when you uh, when you have that skill okay so you have to go with machine learning first year uh, you can stay where you are and you can do what is the task allocated to you or which project they have put into you you can do that after a year or so uh, you have to attend another interview with the you know project team and with i you know I, i have some experience on machine learning if you there if there is a vacancy in your project can i join your project so you can ask that and you can join them okay so that is the way that things roll out so when you when you don't get the developer role or when you are going into another different domain you can opt for it like i i have to work for you know i have i want to work for machine learning okay so then you can switch so there is no problem at all you know at switching so first initially you have to you know you are forced to do uh, you know this what you have been trained on okay so this time the assimilation test i'm not sure what is what is going on around that so we didn't have any transparency uh, we i i wrote the test i i'm not sure uh, i have been put into dot net okay so what most people who haven't you know wrote the test or who haven't taken up the test have been put into various domains okay but that was completely random i guess it, it was from my point of view it is completely random i'm not sure since i know people few people who who will get into uh, you know who will be selected for, uh, through assimilation test it, it is a very simple test i would tell you it is very easy to crack there are just two questions and there are few questions with you know queries so if time permits uh, we can do another live on next week we'll concentrate only on those you know particular test okay so i know she sharp so i will do that we had like two options one is java so i i i, I just know the basics of java so c sharp i am comfortable with so maybe next uh, week we can do you know a little bit of uh, coding exercise um, with c sharp and uh, you know uh, some writing some sql queries then when you come out uh, okay developer role i think that is clear how to get a developer role so another question have been up will everyone who chose internship will get an internship or it is up to cognizant 
see uh, since they are asking you since you will be put in internship so you don't have to worry about that so if you opt for it you will definitely get internship okay so they are expecting people to take up internship okay so they would want they don't want any people to go out okay so they are offering this in this two tracks to let you know that there is something different you have these two you can choose any one so if you are opting for internship you will get internship offer so you don't have to worry about that and then uh, pre record session no man it's not pre recorded okay bro can you can see people manage both internship and academic so uh, side it is uh, it is really difficult uh, you know it, it depends upon your uh, you know college so some colleges have this you know they complete all the semester work uh, in seventh itself so they complete all the eighth semester work in the seventh semester itself so you don't have to uh, you don't have to do uh, you do, you have to manage by yourself in that case okay so th that that time it will be easy for you to manage so since you have completed everything uh, you just need to concentrate on intern okay but when it comes to uh, gen c i'm not sure you will be trained a little harder maybe uh, since gen c next and gen c is gen c is the normal thing man the normal internship so gen c next is you will may be trained in some uh, different technologies like you may be trained in cloud or you might get into cyber security or you might be getting into some machine learning or data analytics maybe or data science so there are lot of vacancies for you know those kind of roles as well in cognizant so you might you know get an opportunity but you can uh, you know manage both there is no point in that you cannot manage but the academic since you are you know doing everything is in virtual so i don't think you will have any problem uh, you know uh, doing your uh, you know, academics uh, at home so you can easily manage with know your studies and the internship so but you know, uh, but uh, the one thing that you can do uh, is uh, clarify with your college okay so whether uh, i'll be given the entire day off or i have to do some college work uh, during my intern okay but cognizant won't uh, be insisting that you have to see saturdays and sundays are off right so you can complete your academics work you know on saturdays and sundays on your weekends and all five days you have you can dedicate all your time to cognizant so that by that way you can easily uh, you know get with uh, cognizant okay you can manage both man it is it is not a big deal that you cannot manage you know both studies and uh, you know internship if you join internship last semester we have project so how can you so yeah you know, for the project so you have saturdays and sundays this is what our you know college insisted us so saturdays and sundays are off so you don't have to work uh, for cognizant or you won't be you won't be asked to work so you can utilize that time for projects so you can plan it you know you can pre plan something okay this is jan right so we have started jan so you can plan now you have some time you can you know do some planning to complete the project you know in a faster pace or you can uh, you can take up a easier project and you can complete it okay since the projects are mandatory with your college and you have to get your degrees but uh, you can plan it accordingly so when you start with cognizant right you will be trained in some track so you can uh, you can do something you can you can do what i did so i let me tell you what i was doing so we take i had the base of machine learning okay so i i had the base of machine learning i have to do something machine learning okay so i thought of integrating what i learned with cognizant and what is the main project so our project was with machine learning and what i learned was asp.net and c sharp so i thought of combining both okay so the thing already exists so we have the machine learning model ready we have uh, deployed it we have the flask framework which is used for running it so we have this asp.net which is also running okay so we integrate these two and we completed the project so you can do something similar since you won't uh, you know concentrate on different thing in your academics and you don't have to concentrate entirely different on your you know cognizant so that will be hectic that will be hectic as it, it won't be easy to manage since you have to concentrate differently on your academic side and you have to concentrate something else with internship so you can take up something like that similar or it 
it might uh, be able to uh, you know cope up with both the things okay you can couple those things and give your uh, you know final project so that will that will help you a lot and you know managing both academics and uh, you know but exams you have to write man exams there is no exception with uh, exams so you have to write your own exams so you have to clear that as well so i think that uh, i hope that answers your questions i so moving on uh, janani when will be cognizant internship okay i'm not sure uh, so as i said you can expect uh, you know by this month okay by this month or maybe by the first week of feb so jeevan again will we be and salary so what is the annual uh, you know you can uh, you know you can minus or you can exclude 1.5 lakhs to 1.7 from your uh, salary and divide it by 12 so that is that will be like your in hand uh, no actually in hand uh, salary since you are uh, see th- those uh, you know uh, the concessions that that has been done by cognizant or the sum that is taken out of your uh, you know uh, your uh, ctc is will be given to you in form of uh, pf okay so you don't have to worry about anything so all the money will be there so that will be you can uh, get it in some more okay so you don't have to worry about that so you have medical insurance so you 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 have to they have to spend some money to that so you have ton of things to do with that space okay so you can uh, now i'm not sure about what is the pay that they give what is the ctc for gen c next so if we can let that then we can uh, have another decision maybe and private okay so moving on this year implementation of gen c next will they delay rate of joining for gen c students so since we have two things now so instead of uh, just internship you have uh, two things now so you have gen c and gen c next so the priority might be given to gen c next since they learn the latest technologies right so if you learn latest technologies you are you know you are needed so why they put you in gen c next is uh, you know it's a priority it's a priority that you are already familiar with coding or you have cracked the interview or you have previous prior knowledge on coding and other things okay so you might expect them at, at the first you know at the door steps okay so th- those are the people who will be getting into uh, you know cognizant earlier but you will be also getting uh, you know date of joining might be a little um, after a month or so after those guys get in but you will definitely get an offer so you don't have to worry about that but there might be a delay there might be a delay as you uh, you know as there might be a delay since they they are learning the latest technology and they are needed so they know the workflow they might be deployed into projects you know sooner and you might be you know delayed a little bit so it depends it depends upon the you know bu requirement so if there is someone so let's say i am i am learning cloud okay so uh, who did i ask the question dikati right okay so you 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 are learning cloud okay so i am learning basic java uh, java and spring boot okay so you will be given the first priority so uh, there is a requirement for uh, you know cloud there is a requirement for devops so you will be given the first priority and i may be called at the end okay so that is how things work so you have to put yourself into Uh, the shoes of uh, the cognizance and then you have to think so that will resolve your problem okay so duration of internship it depends on four months might be so since we had let, let's say we so let me tell what was uh, my uh, timeline so we started on december 7th last year 2019 and it went up to uh, april uh, 2014 i guess 14th or 15th but we have to uh, since the pandemic was there on um, i think march 22nd 26th or 27th uh, they had this national lockdown right so before that we were said like we have to be with cognizant uh, till april uh, mid of april and we have to go to our colleges and complete our semester exams and come back and we have to complete a project okay so after after uh, writing our semester exams we have to come back and we have to do a project and then uh, you can you will have 2 to 3 months of time 
uh, you can breathe a little bit and then they will uh, you know roll out uh, data or you know full time offers so that was the timeline for us but you will have four to five months man five to four to five months you can expect so they want to complete it faster this time i'm not sure what they are going to do since we we were delayed a lot we were delayed a lot since we didn't get our uh, you know final uh, semester exams we didn't have any you know proof of uh, final semester exams since uh, that was the you know, main cause for our delay so some universities some universities has provided the eighth semester uh, certificate and the degree completion certificate okay so when that when that with that in hand some people have joined cognizant earlier so those who are given the priority so even if you are from good domain or if you do um, a lot of work in internship that doesn't you know that wasn't the case earlier but this time since you are doing everything virtually so you will get your uh, you know completion certificate and you will be writing your uh, final semester exam so that will uh, you uh, you can expect the same kind of priority that is uh, you know prevailing from this uh, you know previous years okay from 2018 okay so you will get the same priority so i think that answers the duration chip so moving on vishal will there be any test before starting an internship to decide domains or they will assign randomly okay so for this thing we had you know we had a test like this assimilation test where you you don't have before the internship okay so when you start with intern so let's say that i am starting my internship from monday okay from monday i am i'm starting my intern so you might expect this test to go uh, you know happen on tuesday or wednesday okay so within a week within a week of you joining cognizant this uh, you know test will be you know they will conduct this test and they will uh, split you in domains but it was in it wasn't that case for us we we are split randomly so it depends so i i, I think the only reason that we, uh, we were you know split randomly is that only few people wrote the test okay so only 50 50 or 60 people wrote the test so when we had like 200 to 300 people and only just 50 wrote the test so if if they split with just 50 okay so they have to put all the 50 all the 50 or 60 in you know you know in advanced domains okay so those are the only guys that they have they have written the test so if if there is a common you know if everyone com- comes under the camera a common umbrella then it is easy for them to you know split them into the various domains based on their marks or based on the test okay it is it is really difficult for them to split with just 50 people and what the others will do right so others or i you know not even give the given the opportunity to you know uh, choose their domain so i think this has to be changed we have you know given feedbacks last year i am not sure whether they have implemented it or they will implement in the future so we have given this feedback so most of the interns have given this feedback since there is a little uh, you know there is uh, a little uh, you know the transparency is too little so uh, we are not sure that we were split randomly or we were split based on the you know test or you know it, it was really difficult for us to assess but uh, you know from uh, my guess what i would say is it was totally random so it was totally random for us but you might expect that uh, if most people write the test okay so it is it is not doing good to all the people right so only 50 people write the test and the rest don't get the opportunity so when everyone writes the test they can easily split so this guy go to java this guy we can go to dot net so they have to reframe their uh, you know framework a little bit for uh, splitting domains so one thing they can do is that they can ask people what domain they want to work so most people are when people join cognizant they are from different backgrounds say so they are not from cs and it background they are from few people are from electronics as me myself uh, from electronics or there are people from mechanical or civil or from various other departments right so when you come from those kind of backgrounds they they are having a less exposure on coding and frameworks so they don't even know what is spring boot or dot net or uh, django or flask so with that said when you uh, you know put people on those kind of domains they cannot choose right so they are they are, they they are not aware of that it is not the fault of the students but they are not aware of that okay those frameworks and they haven't worked on that 
but what they can do is that they can give you a chance like they can give you an opportunity where you hand pick your domains so i want i am interested on uh, machine learning i want to work on that machine learning domain i want to learn python so you can do uh, something like that but we have given feedback so that might be rolling out for you guys so we have another question from rogit i mailed you didn't reply over it okay uh, sorry man i'm not sure so i'm busy with this weekend okay so i'm busy with some freelance work so i i'll uh, i'll uh, you know reply to that asap yeah. so if i join internship do cognizant and give data yeah so as i said earlier uh, see uh, the internship is you will get priority based on the internship and the csd right since we have two things they will be giving uh, priority to the internship guys since uh, as i keep on repeating you have uh, uh, you know bonding with them okay so you are committed to them that you will join cognizant after uh, uh, uh internship period okay so you will get the priority or you will get uh, date of joining earlier so that you can expect so i think it's on hindi right so if you can translate that to english that uh, then it is easy for me to understand so i don't completely get the phrases over there Okay, guys. I think uh, it's done for the day. Okay, we have another question. We shall. After providing my bank details to Cognizant, can I change bank details if I want to change? Yeah, sure. You can change. That is, but you can change on a given time period. Okay, so you will give a time period of uh, you know first two weeks or so. Okay. so for within those uh, you know let's say you are joining uh, you know cognizant you have joined cognizant this uh, you know jan jan 1st or 2nd okay so you are joining from this month you have to update your uh, you know bank details on the first two weeks or first week since they have to they have their backends working on that right they will get this updated details and they will roll out you know uh, you know salaries to your bank account so they have to do that so for doing that you have to update your details prior on uh, you cannot update at the end like if you are getting salary next uh, you know week you cannot update today or maybe this weekend so you have to update in the prior but there is a option to do that you can definitely update your bank account details 